In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and show you how to submit a Panopto assignment. In your course, you'll go into your weekly module and you will select the assignment that says Panopto. In Panopto, this is a two-step process, so you'll notice that in step one you have a hyperlink. You'll need to select the hyperlink first. This is going to go ahead and open your personal submission folder. And this is where you're actually going to create your Panopto video. And then when you're done with that, you'll complete steps two through six. You'll notice that I've selected my Panopto folder and Panopto itself opens up. Then you'll select Create. And in most cases, you'll choose Panopto Capture. This is going to use your web browser to go ahead and create a Panopto video. And you can define your microphone settings. When you're done with that, the video is going to be stored in your personal folder. Now to actually submit the Panopto assignment, we're going to go ahead and look at steps two through six here. And what this essentially means that you have to do is go to the link at the top, which is not the hyperlink that we selected, but instead go to the assignment link. And this assignment link is going to be um, not maybe so obvious. Notice this is the assignment link at the top. When I select the assignment link itself, I'm going to get a different display. And this display is going to allow me to actually make my submission that is um, identified in steps two through steps six. Notice that step two uh, makes mention about using the right submission. So we're going to go ahead and select right submission. And once we select right submission, we're going to see the text editor box up here and this may be revised uh, or updated since the last time you saw this right submission box. Now that the text submission box is here normally you will leave a note for your instructor about what the video actually is that you're going to be uploading and delivering. Once you've completed the explanation for the assignment here you'll navigate in your toolbar all the way to the right hand side where you see these three dots for more. This is going to go ahead and expand the tools available to you. And then in that second row you'll see that there's a circle with a plus. This is add content. You need to select this. In the pop-up window now you'll select Panopto student submission. And this will allow you to choose from the previous videos that you've created in your personal Panopto folder. You'll select Submit, and now this submission will be posted and it'll be available to share with your instructor. Don't forget, once you've done this, to go to the lower right-hand corner and select Submit at this point. You should receive some type of an assignment instruction or review here that just kind of looks like what you posted here. And this is giving you the view that uh, you would see upon completion. If you have additional questions on how to get started with Panopto for a video submission assignment, definitely reach out to your instructor. It does take a little bit of practice, but I encourage you to think of this as a two-step process. Remember, the first step is going to be to actually create the video inside of Panopto. The second part of the process is going to be to use the text box that's associated with the assignment. Inside that text box, is where you're going to find the tool to actually link your Panopto video into your assignment for submission.